Good morning, darts fans. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the BDO World Darts Championship already. I hope you have. I have. Um, it was a very good night uh, on uh, last day, wasn't it? A very good night. Anyway, I'm here for uh, the next day's play of the BDO World Darts Championship again. A double session. Uh, we come up this afternoon as I'm recording this at exactly 1.17 in the morning so a very good early morning, a good evening or a good afternoon or a good night wherever you are you know um, and at the uh, last night's session I was kind of I was very good wasn't I uh, my scores were pretty much on point I think the only score that I got wrong was Trina Gulliver's uh, result. I went for 2 0, she won 2 1, but the rest of them went as I thought they were 3 2, 3 0, and 3 2. So, um, ah, got myself a bit lucky there. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're going on to the to the uh, to Tuesday's play, and we'll start with the afternoon uh, session again. The first round and uh, final a lot of first round and prelim games. Um, the first match of the afternoon there's four games on of course the first game in the afternoon is my pick for the tournament uh, Jim Williams yes Jim Williams my pick for the tournament he will be playing Dennis Nielsen uh, that's going to be a tough tough game for Jim because if, if Dennis plays anywhere near like he did in the prelim uh, uh, that could be a very very tough one for him I've gone for Jim Williams to hopefully win this one 3 1. Uh, but I'm also uh, just going to elaborate on this slightly. I've gone for Jim Williams to win uh, the Worlds because I watched him uh, back in October at the Windmill World Masters. Uh, sorry, not the Windmill World Masters, the, the Finders Darts Masters. I'm getting the tournaments mixed up, but it's Masters. Um, and uh, he played awesome that uh, that weekend in Holland uh, and made the final there. Um, uh, just lost out Danny Noppert. But uh, he, um, to me, he is a dark horse and I've gone for him as my pick uh, for the BDO World Championship. Um, we shall see whether he does. But he starts with Dennis Nielsen. I uh, said Dennis played great in the prelim match. Uh, I've got to, I've got to give it to Jim three uh, one. Experience only, really, no other reason. If Dennis plays like that, he could easily uh, cause an upset. But I've got to say, Dennis Nielsen, uh, Dennis Nielsen will lose, unfortunately, three uh, one to Jim. Then we move on to um, two guys I was thinking about having a go on myself, uh, Richard Vinstra and Kyle McKinstry. Now, I very nearly went for Carl McKinstry to win the whole thing. Uh, because I've watched a bit of Carl over the year, especially more so in the internationals, you know. Um, he's a very solid player. He's got a very solid throw. He's got a very... Um, he's got a very good action. You know, he, he has a solid base to work from. This is not going to be easy for Richard. And with Richard being, obviously... Uh, another young Dutch player um, sometimes I find that when the quick Dutch players play the more mellow um, or slower dart players like Kyle they seem to struggle more because uh, I think Kyle will be a little bit more accurate I think Kyle will come, come through this uh, three sets to one I believe uh, Kyle to me just a bit too I think he'll be a bit too solid for Richard uh, with Richard's game the only problem is and it does with most quick players they drift easier they drift easy so I have a feeling that uh, yeah Kyle will win that uh, on to the third game uh, one of the favourites for the tournament um, Eileen de Graff is playing I, I, I like watching uh, Eileen, she obviously comes out to come on Eileen. <laughs> That's convenient. But uh, no, I like, I like to watch Eileen. She's uh, a very, very talented uh, young woman. Um, and 
this is Paul and uh, I think this is Paul and Jacqueline and uh, I've seen Paula a few times on the stage um, I she's a decent player but I don't see her giving any real problems to uh, to Eileen I'm gonna go 2 nil for this one I just think I will just have too much for her and then <laughs> The uh, another Belgian that's coming out. The uh, tell, these Belgians love the darts and they're playing really well at the minute. Bert de Vos, who I uh, who I backed last year to win this, um, he's going uh, going up against Tinekis. Now he really impressed me in that first match against Landman. I, I thought his scoring was was really really solid. I thought his finishing was great. Uh, once he settled down after about the first set, he, uh, you know, his game really shone through. So this could be a tough one for Gert. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a risk on Tanekis for this. And I'm going to say 3-2 to Tanekis. I think he's got the game to trouble Gert. But if Gert obviously um, does get his game together, and especially his scoring, when he was at the Grand Slam uh, at one point, he nearly averaged, well, he did average about 115 you know, uh, at one point during the game in the Grand Slam, so uh, he's definitely got a good game, but I'm going to go 3-2 for uh, Telmechis then we go on to the final uh, first round I believe uh, first round um, uh, first round matches and it's going to be the legend that is Mr. Martin Phillips, a guy that's played so many times for Wales, it's like going back to ancient times. But uh, <laughs> he's been around since the late eighties, and uh, still a class player. You cannot underestimate Martin Phillips. You know, uh, he always he always gives anybody a game that he plays, and he's always a little bit of a danger. The fourteenth seed this year, he's going to play uh, Day, who won um, against surprisingly for me. Oh uh, well, Craig Caldwell, but you know he got he got it done, and I have to appreciate that and I respect that. I just think Martin's going to have too much Daniel Day. I've just got a feeling Daniel's going to have not enough experience against Martin. I think if he plays like he did against Craig, I think you know he might be able to. But I just think Martin's going to have uh, too much, and I'm I'm going to say three one on that one. Uh, then we go on to the uh, final first round game uh, oh no not the final first round game but um, I think there's one more because I think Lorraine plays on Wednesday I believe but we've got Anastasia de Bruma Sliver I say that when you're drunk uh, he, he, she's, she's playing Anka Zilstra now last year, last year's Lakeside Anka was a surprise and I would say it was a surprise uh, by knocking out Anna at this, uh, this point of the tournament. Uh, but you could say she was also heavily pregnant at the time. Uh, and uh, I don't think it'll happen again this year. I think Anna's going to come in and Anka may get a set. Uh, I'm going to say 2 1 to Anna on this one. Um, and she has said, th they've been talking a lot about this Women's World Championship. It being probably the strongest women's uh, worlds there's ever been. I believe it is the strongest women's worlds championship. And um, it, I can't pick a winner, I really can't. Uh, but yeah, Anna to win 2 1 in that one. Then we go on to a guy uh, who I'm starting to become a real, real big fan of, Cameron Menzies. He's playing the former PDC player. Uh, now solid BDO player uh, Conan Whitehead uh, Cameron obviously had that he had, he had that um, he played great at the Grand Slam and he had that uh, unbelievable match with Barry Van Peer I believe he would have beaten Barry I felt so sorry for Barry during the Grand Slam by the way I just want to put my opinion on that uh, I believe if Cameron hadn't have got involved in all the all the tension and things like that. I believe that he would have beaten Barry, but I think he got too involved. I do think he'll get past Conan. Uh, 3-2, because Conan is a decent player, so 3-2 for Cameron Menzies to get through to the next round. And the final match of the 
of the first round. Uh, and it's going to be Jamie Hughes, Yozza, who unfortunately is uh, his friend Scott Baker lost out last night. Uh, but he'll be playing uh, uh, Michael Untenbacher, which surprised me. Uh, but I don't know if David has never had a good run at Lakeside, really. Uh, but Michael played decent, not great, but he played decent. Um, I've got to go for Yozza on that one. I just don't think the German is going to have the game to beat Yozza. I'm, I'm going to go, unfortunately, I'm going to go 3-0 for it. 3-1 um, I, I, at best, but I'm going to go 3-0. I think that Yozza is going to have way, way too much for him. So... Yeah, that's uh, my Tuesday uh, my Tuesday predictions for the uh, BDO World Championship. Um, I don't know how you guys are getting on with the uh, predictions. Hope you're doing as well as me, or as bad as me, or you know. Um, I do hope that you're enjoying the darts. Um, I'm just going to tell you a couple of things now uh, that I will be back for more predictions and that. But what I just want to mention just for the end is that the uh, Masters draw has been made in the darts. I'll go into that probably next week uh, alongside the Masters snooker. Um, but I will I will talk more in depth about that next week uh, after the after the end of the BDO Worlds. And also, as I said from next week, I'll also go into the uh, the snooker Masters as well for Mali Pally. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the darts. I'll be back. Uh, for Wednesday's play um, so we're back for then and uh, yeah enjoy the darts get your predictions in uh, get your views in love to know I'm getting plenty of views uh, get your opinions in uh, like subscribe dislike whatever you want to do uh, I want to hear your opinions on things let me know how you think the world championship is going and who you think is going to win so let me know and I will see you for Wednesday's uh, predictions. I'll see you then. Enjoy the darts tomorrow.